<laughs> welcome to Jerry's Fish Room. Alright guys, welcome back to Jerry's Fish Room. I'm shooting this video uh, with uh, my cell phone and I don't have all my setup and everything. It's uh, late on a Monday night and um, uh, unfortunately I have to bring these videos as well as the good videos of the new stuff. And um, I had a catastrophe, a minor catastrophe, but still um, I lost one of my favorite fish, uh, one of my frontoses. Um, I came in here this evening, uh, did like I normally do after work to check on them, and uh, he's laying in the bottom of the tank. And uh, I checked the other fish, and they are uh, breathing a little bit heavy. Um, after, upon further review, after I looked at everything, and looked up and realized I had forgotten to turn on my canister filter. So the only thing that was running on this tank, on this 125, was the uh, Title 110. And I guess with that, that wasn't enough agitation, surface agitation, um, because I checked the ammonia. Uh, there's no ammonia in the tank, um, no nitrates, nitrites, all that stuff looked good. <clears throat> Water temp, the whole nine yards. The only thing I can figure is because he's a bigger fish, he's about seven inches. Um, you know, oxygen starvation is the only thing I can figure. And, uh, you know, all these other fish in here, I'll, take, I'll, I'll shoot a quick video or turn this around so you guys can see. Um, they're all, mouths are, are moving uh, pretty good. So I'm hoping um, we'll, we'll see what, where, what happens in the night. But uh, turned everything back on, uh, put an a air stone in as well. Um, try to um, just again do everything I can do to get as much oxygen in that tank as possible. Um, the fish seem like they're moving around pretty good. They are, uh, you know, again, their mouth, their lips are moving, which makes me a little nervous. But, um, <clears throat> man, I don't know what to tell you. If I just shot the good videos, guys, um, you wouldn't be able to learn from my mistakes. And this was a, this was a huge one. Um, you know, lesson learned. Got to slow down. Make sure you check off all the items. Make sure you've, anything you've unplugged, make sure you plug it back in. Um, you know, double check your tanks when you're done before you walk away. Uh, so, guys, I don't know what else to say <clears throat> other than uh, I'm going to show you a quick video uh, or show you the the tank, and uh, I'm I'm just I'm I'm just frustrated. Uh, man, it breaks my heart um, to think that I had something to do with the death of one of my fish, and but that's the only thing I can figure because uh, nothing, you know. I didn't see any other symptoms. The water parameters are, are right there where they need to be. Um, it had to be a lack of oxygen, and it had to be for me forgetting to turn on that filter um, and causing a lot less uh, gas exchange in the tank. And uh, I'll shoot a quick video in the morning as well. See, hopefully, everything is okay. All right, guys. This is the next morning, and uh, everybody's looking good. Uh, everybody's... Uh, Moving around okay. Uh, the mouths have quieted down a lot. Um, I've always had problems with my fronds with the mouth constantly going. I don't know, don't know why that is, but uh, they've had that issue in the past. So um, you know, I don't know. Uh, but I again, I got a lot of oxygen in there. The water quality is good. Um, all but you know that guy right there is. Their mouths are barely moving, so I don't know if that's just something to do with fronds and what they do, but uh, I haven't lost any more since I lost that frond, and, uh, but I figured I'd just give you a quick update, a um, quick look at uh, the tank, and uh, you know, again, just kind of repeat the lessons learned, um, you know, get a routine, do the same thing in the same sequence every time, um, double check. Uh, may even after this create a checklist just to go through and hang it up in the room or something so that way I don't make that mistake again. Um, again, I can't be 100% certain, but to me it's the only thing that makes sense because I, after I shot that video that night, it was not just the filter that was shut off, uh, but the wave maker was unplugged as well. And so the only thing that I had that was moving water was the Title 110. Uh, and uh, I don't know. So 
again, some of these times these guys, uh, sometimes these uh, lessons learned are, are difficult. And, uh, you know, uh, it's part of fish keeping. Uh, we're going to make mistakes. Um, try not to beat yourself up too bad about it um, and uh, learn from it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for coming along on this uh, video. Sorry it was not more of a positive video. But at the same time, um, you know, the idea of me doing these videos in the first place is to grow the hobby. Um, and one of the ways we grow the hobby is we learn from each other. And uh, so sometimes you have to shoot the, uh, the good and the bad in order for that to happen. And, uh, but, uh, guys, again, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for subscribing. For those that have subscribed, I think I'm over 214, 215, something like that. Greatly appreciate it. The views have been up. Uh, you guys have just been very supportive. Um, you know, keep the, the comments coming. Uh, please feel free to leave comments. Uh, you know, let me know some of your mistakes maybe, and, uh, maybe I can learn from you as well. Uh, but guys, uh, until we meet again, you know what's coming next. Keep loving the fish.